Hello, this is Darren L. Hammond with SipMinis.com. Today our focus is on chaos theory and career. So start by thinking about chaos theory put together with career, which seems unusual. Uh, normally we do not want random chaotic behavior in our career. Uh, what we look for is to start at a point and moving from A to B. And there are various junctures along the way. Uh, we'll take a look at a few of those in a minute. But uh, college um, and uh, entry level position and so forth. But B is the career we want to land. It's where we want to end up. And that's where we have our sights fixed. So the straight line is our plan to get there. So the traditional linear career path follows a straight line. And oftentimes um, that involves traditional schooling. Um, and most times it involves that. Uh, college usually comes next. Um, internships and entry-level positions leading to a lifelong career follow. And so happiness is what we want in the end with this linear path. And um, in fact, that will be our goal in the chaotic career path. But you can see the nice white picket fence down below. That's what typically we shoot for. Now, what keeps us within that linear path and um, prevents us from deviating, um, changing course, making new plans, reanalyzing, remapping our career. What keeps us from all of those things is fear. Because fear uh, is, has to do with non-linearity. When things go chaotic, it gets scary. So a more chaotic path then the linear path I showed you would be something like this. And there are deviations and uh, various branches. And um, I want you to know that in the end, where the arrows lead, that leads to happiness as well. My point being that you don't have to follow a traditional linear path to get to where you want to be in life or to get to the career you want to have in life. So, um, be open. Uh, the, the general um, impression I'd like to give you here is to be open to possibilities within your career path, um, areas to make a change, a shift, a move in a different direction, a radical shift. Be open to change because that is the reality of career life. Isn't that true? Think about people and how many times they change their career paths. It's not just a straightforward linear path. It's more chaotic. And so rather than something that, that uh, was just traditional schooling and college, uh, we might see something more like this in reality. So some traditional schooling a college course, uh, drifting off to vocational schooling, uh, some MOOCs from online, 
uh, miniature free courses online, internships, grocery store clerk, store manager, maybe laid off for a time, eventually the VP of marketing. So even though the path here is convoluted, it certainly does not follow a traditional linear path. Even though it is complex, there is a path to it, and that path does lead to success. So my point is that linear um, following of a path can lead you to the same place that a chaotic path can lead you, and I contend that your path will be more chaotic than linear, and planning for that, being prepared for that, is going to help you in your future. Um, a quote from Nietzsche, the famous philosopher, you need chaos in your soul to give birth to a dancing star. Uh, an unusually positive quote coming from Nietzsche here. But uh, he was aware of the fact that um, in a complex life where random acts happen and uh, random changes take place, uh, that chaos needs to be alive within us in order to capture what he says is a dancing star. What we will call about flexibility and innovation. And my suggestion to you is that flexibility and innovation is the ability to see an order in the chaos. So innovators are the ones who see the same complex uh, mess of uh, a picture of reality. But in that mess, they're able to see a path that runs through, and it's a jagged path. It's an unorganized path. But it is a path that can lead to success in the end. Um, the ideas in this presentation largely come from this book. You majored in what? Mapping Your Path from Chaos to Career by Katherine Brooks. So I'm indebted to her based upon the patterns in complex situations. It can help us predict what may happen. Of course, we can't know that, but uh, we can learn by small steps, perhaps, and by small predictions, the best route to follow. This uses a different kind of reasoning than we're used to. We're used to either deductive or inductive reasoning, both of which are linear theories of reasoning. Abductive reasoning says that we can't base a decision on a single factor because the nature of the problem and the situation is just far too complex. So we have to somehow find a way to reroute and redirect and replan to get to where we want to be in the end. And uh, being aware of the chaos theory and abductive reasoning allows us to do that. Uh, you've got to assume that change happens all the time, because it does, right? This is uh, one truth about life which cannot be denied. Change is a constant. And 
change is not bad. Uh, some believe that change will hold us back or impede us, but we've got to assume that in the chaos theory of our career, that changes will constantly ha happen, and we will be able to deal with them, and we will be able to turn them in a positive direction. And um, we believe in the fact that with these seemingly random choices we're making along the way, we're educated at each point, and ultimately we'll see an order looking back to it from the future. We'll see the order that guided us to the destination, when in fact the order was chaotic and jagged and led in multiple directions. Here's how you can use this to help you in finding a career. Education is so important and find it everywhere you can, whether it's a MOOC online, an online college course, um, vocational schooling, whatever. Um, education is going to be essential to your career success. And you may find yourself coming back to number one. In other words, down the road, you may find, I need to go back and get some more education to do what I want to do. And that's just fine. The nature of chaos is that it allows for changes like that. Use maps and questioning to generate as many possible ideas and outcomes as you can. Um, the book by Catherine Brooks gives examples of all kinds of ideas of mental maps you can create that will help you envision where Um, you where you currently stand and also to um, take a next planned step step and this will open you up to incredible opportunities that you wouldn't have otherwise um, use innovation and inspiration to make your way through step by step, not worrying that we're deviating from that nice straight linear path, but making sure that we're always headed towards our dreams. And that's what's important, that you're headed towards your dreams. Remember that failure allows you to learn and in chaos theory, it allows simply for a change of direction. So be happy in this flexibility and have an open mind about it. Now, we always want to make sure that we're aiming our highest, aiming for our best selves. But having that in mind, we've got to recognize that we will have failure and we will have changes along the way. I close with a picture uh, from my favorite artist, Jackson Pollock, who revolutionized painting. But I love the visual impact of it because out of this chaos, if you look at it for a few moments and think about the visual impression you're getting, it's very powerful. And the, the same type of chaos that led to this painting can also lead to your career success. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope that you'll visit our um, website at zipminis.com where there's more information about careers and life in general. Uh, subscribe to our channel here, and you can uh, keep apprised of our new videos. And thank you for being here and for listening.